Victoria Riolano has seven children with an eighth on the way. As the commander of a young battalion, she's learned to fight for every child every day. She's become a warrior mother. Author and military mom of seven, Victoria Riolano, says it's not easy raising kids in the world today. Whether you're dealing with the terrible twos, a child with a serious illness, or a teenager who's walked away from God, the emotional and spiritual challenges of parenting can be overwhelming. In her book, Warrior Mother, Victoria shows you how to equip yourself with everything you need to be the first line of defense in the lives of your children. Well, Victoria Riolano joins us now, and we welcome you to the 700 Club. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Book Fresh Out, Warrior Mother, Equipping Your Heart to Fight for Your Family's Faith. What are some of the characteristics of a warrior mother? Yes, yeah, so a warrior mother is resilient, she's courageous, she's brave, and she trusts God for every yeah. step. Yeah, I can tell as you're talking to me, you have a gentle spirit, you have a, a gentle voice. Do you ever yell at your children? <laughs> Here and there. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> well, as you mentioned, or as I mentioned a moment ago, you have seven children. You have an eighth on the way. You know, that's, so your children span from what age to what age? Yeah, so two and a half to 16 and a half. Wow. So when you're fighting for them, Victoria, when you're nurturing and teaching and all the things that go into being a mom, is it a different strategy for each child? Yeah, I mean, just when you think about the different children, when they were born, my 16 and a half year old was born back in 2006, so that's a yeah, different, different parenting world. style yeah. than my other ones who are born in the world of like social media and tablets. So it really wow. depends on the children's temperament wow. and what works for them. You figure it out really quickly. <laughs> well, some do. <laughs> Talk about developing a, a war plan for each child. I mean, your book is so richly filled with scripture, but also wisdom as you've walked out this journey and God's revealed things to you. How do you develop a plan for each child? Yeah, so something God showed me is that we make a plan for everything. If we go to the grocery store, we have a plan. Mm. If we go on vacation, we have a plan. But when it comes to parenting, we just kind of stumble in and hope it works yeah. out. And so one thing I try to do is for each child, like we try to have like a specific goals. Mm -hmm. Our family has a Bible verse that is like our verse. We have a mission statement. Then I have non-negotiables like for our family, things we just won't do or won't participate in. And so it's all about praying and asking God for the strategy. And, and you really ask God for a scripture for the child. Mm -hmm. that, how, how do you know when you've gotten that? <laughs> well, I think for me, you know, just through prayer, observing the child, observing um, how they respond to certain things and knowing that um, ultimately God is going to give that final step. And sometimes it could change a little bit depending on what the situation is they're going through. We just watch the testimony of a man who grew up in a very divided home. I mean, a, a stepdad who was very violent and difficult and a mother who was full of fear. How important is it for a mom and a dad to be on the same page together to do what you're talking about strategically for your children? Yeah, very important. I've been married for over 17 years now. And when we're not together and on the same page, the children pick that up. And then they'll... So what do you do when you're, <laughs> when you're you know, in that place? <laughs> what do we do? I think, you know, ultimately, I'll let my husband just have the final say for like, you know, the things. But really, it's about we'll try to talk about whatever that situation is that's mm -hmm. come up and come to the side. Let's talk about this and figure <laughs> out what we're going to do. What's the plan? And then we just kind of go from there. But for the kids, we're a united front. If I yes. said no, he says no yeah. and vice versa. How do you pray strategic prayers for your children? You talk about that in the book. Yeah. And so, I mean, for me, the main thing is that I'm praying for my children for their protection before they leave the house. I'm praying strategically. Mm -hmm. um, I'm praying for who's influencing them, what's influencing them. Yeah. And I'm praying that God will give them discernment at yeah. all times. Boy, in today's right world, from isn't that the truth? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's so much going on in the world today. You know, and yet in your book, there's no fear. You know, there's the call of God. There's children that, that you clearly say are strategically positioned for the time that we live in. Yeah. Where do you go with any anxiousness as a parent, or do you never have to deal with that? 
oh, I deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just learned through my journey, especially dealing with my daughter when she used to have seizures, like around age mm. four, um, that I can't control everything. Yeah. But I have a God who fights for me. He wins every time. Yeah. And so when I do feel anxious, like really holding on like to that Philippians chapter four, mm. like giving it all to God and knowing that he will give me the peace that I need. And, yeah. and he does in his yeah. own way. And so yes. that's what I do. You know, parents today, many parents struggle with kids who've been rebellious, who are rebellious. You know, some who are rebellious in the home, some who've left the home. What do you say to parents who are struggling with kids who are themselves struggling with their walk, their purpose? Yeah. So for me, the main thing to know is that we're not in charge of our children's salvation. Yeah. Um, that's that's a God thing. And it's also a free will thing. And so don't stop praying for your children. I always say pray for the comeback and pray that you would continue to love them yeah. through it all. Because sometimes that's all we can do yeah. is pray and love them through it all, through yeah. every situation. You know, when God tells us to put on the full armor, um, one of the most strategic aspects of that armor is the Word of God, and your book is full of that. How do you use the God, the Word of God on just a moment-to-moment -moment daily basis? Yeah, so for me, I want to read the Word to my children. I want to teach them the Bible studies, but I want to live it out. So if they fall, I want to pray for them right then. If they have bullies, I want to talk to them about, like, how do we deal with bullies? Like, David dealt with a bully. So we yes. really try to like make the word of God come alive in our in our everyday yeah. life. You know, you have to have a plan though. And you know, we were talking about that earlier in the program about the importance of having a plan. We you know, we have plans for everything that we do. You yourself said the same thing about just our day-to-day -day stuff. And in the world that we live in, when you've got kids that are from two and a half to, did you say eight, 16? 16? I mean, you have to have many plans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, how do you keep that all straight? Yeah, one day at a time. Yeah, one well, hour. Yes, that's my motto one, too. <laughs> one hour at a time and just being very mindful of, what we're participating in, what we have time for on our plate, and is God telling us to do it? Because sometimes I want to do it with them, but I just can't because yes. God said no. Yeah. I want to say to people who are watching, whether you're a parent or a grandparent, there's such rich wisdom in this book and strategy, strategy for you and for your family. So just want to highly recommend Victoria's book. It's Warrior Mother, Equipping Your Heart to Fight for Your Family's Faith. It's our role, moms. <laughs> Let's grab up the sword of the spirit and do it. Victoria Riolano, thank you for being with us today. Thank you Great so much. Great message.